Add reels and bags before realizing what they are. For just three kids, it was way too much. He needed to help them, he grabbed the pole and pulled as hard as he could. But when he saw what they had could he couldn't believe his eyes. Were they even allowed to do this? Rob and Patricia Alamy wanted to go for one more outing with the family before their kids would have to start the school year. They bought snacks and drinks for the day and got into their fishing boat. The weather was clear and the water was crystal. It was the perfect day for fishing. Rob smiled as his children cast their lines just as he had taught them. He was a proud father. He wanted an iconic family photo of them next to the ultimate catch of swordfish. Afterwards they'd have a bar back and grill the fish. But the only fish that seemed interested in the bait was tilefish like the name implies they aren't very tasty. But still, it was a beautiful day and everyone was enjoying themselves. Then, his daughter let out a squeak of excitement as there was a tug on her line. She had caught something. The fish she had caught must have been quite a catch. He was hoping it was the swordfish they had been looking for. The three kids were now working together to try to reel the sea creature in. But when Rob noticed the canvas breach the water, he had to step in. They had found a bag, Rob wondered if it was another piece of trash that the ocean was full of. He then noticed that the bag was full of something. He really hoped it was just old clothes, he'd heard horror stories surrounding bags being dumped in oceans. He didn't want to open it in front of his impressionable children. While his children were being distracted by their mother he slowly opened the bag. Checking its contents. It weirdly almost felt like Christmas morning. Unwrapping a present under the tree, except this time he was in a boat and his present was an unknown bag. The bag felt smooth in some areas and chunky in others when he pushed down onto the bag. Equals the kids were guessing like it was some kind of game. They kept saying that whoever guessed right would get to keep whatever it was. Then Rob saw green and a very easily recognized symbol on the items. Money. His kids yelled, jumping up and down. Oh my god his wife muttered as Rob pulled out huge stacks of $20 bills so far there was enough to pay off their car. But that wasn't all that was inside. It seemed the solid blocks were cash. But what was inside the lumpy ones? Honey, call the cops Rob said, feeling his heart pound furiously. Inside was a baggie of cut and uncut diamonds. Just one held an entire fistful, and there were at least six more inside the duffel bag. Suddenly, Rob realized he needed to stop touching it immediately. This was bad. To the kids, however, it was something amazing. Their youngest started to list all the things she wanted to buy with their buried treasure. Their middle child just started with wide eyes. Their eldest boy looked like his smile would crack his face. Thankfully, his wife stepped in. While Rob worried that he had just left fingerprints or contaminated evidence, his wife explained why they couldn't keep it. There were moans of disappointment and plenty of begging, but it all disappeared as soon as the ocean authorities showed up with their decked out boat and full uniforms. The cops took center stage. They also came with good news. All Rob had to do was give a statement and supply fingerprints for their file, other than that, there was nothing wrong. They police thanked the family for their find and dropped an exciting hint to the kids, one that even made Rob and his wife go bug-eyed. There was something great coming their way. The finder's fee obviously didn't add up to the $200,000 in cash and who knows how much in diamonds. But there were enough zeros that it definitely made everyone in the family beam with excitement. It was better than any sword fish. The kids also learned a valuable lesson. Their youngest wasn't read for the entire concept of what was in the bag and why it had probably been thrown away, but everyone got an important lesson on honesty. Rob also had to ready himself for whatever phone calls would come when school started. The teachers were certainly going to label this as a tall tale.